All right, so as everybody knows, the last few days, last week or so has been crazy with this whole coronavirus and COVID-19 um, pandemic thing that's been going on. It's been difficult to find a place to work out because it seems like everything is closing down. So what do you do when there's no place to go get your pump on? What do you do when you really want to work out, but all the gyms are closed? Well, let me kind of give you an idea of what's happened to me just in the last few days. I'm just kind of walking around my office here as I'm getting prepared to go and uh, actually work out today at a friend's house. So anyway, let me give you an idea of what uh, has happened just in the last couple days. So check this out. My gym, which is Reclaim Fitness in New Lenox, Illinois, has been closed because the CDC has given guidance about a week ago that no more than 250 people could hang out together or be congregated in one area. So the gym stayed open. Then a few days later, it was 50 people or less or 50 people or more. And that's when it got crazy and our gym shut down for a few weeks. So I started looking around and I went to this little town where I live and I went ahead and got a kind of a stopgap two week membership at this little gym called Fitness Premier in this little town. There's never more than about five or six people here. I thought, well, at least I'll be able to get in and, uh, and, and lift. So I went ahead and took care of everything. I got my little key card to get in 24 seven, came back the very next morning and look at here, it's closed. So I never got to work out there. So I started networking, called a buddy of mine. Remember my trainer, Dave, called him up, said, what are you doing? He said he was going to go check out Anytime Fitness, which is another smaller gym in another smaller town. So I cruised up there and I was able to get one workout in. And then they told me that they were closing their doors at either six or eight o'clock that night. That was yesterday. So I started calling all around trying to find a place to work out. And what ended up happening was I called a buddy of mine who lives about five miles from me and I knew he had some gear in his basement. So, so guess what folks, that's what's going to happen today. I'm just grabbing all my stuff, grabbing my gear. I'm going to get changed and I'm going to head over to my friend Darren's house and actually try to get a workout in, in his basement of all places. But you know what, when you want to work out, and you're desperate, desperate times call for desperate ventures. So check this out. And he's got a lot of dogs. Hey, man. Hey, how are you? Come on in. See if you can get past the dogs. Woo. Yeah. Burglars beware. I wouldn't even try it. <laughs> How's it going, man? Great. How are you? You ready to do this? Yes. Excellent. All right. Here we go into the basement. <laughs> Woohoo! As I said, folks, desperate times call for desperate measures. We got a bench. Cool. Squat rack. Some dumbbells. I think we can make it work. 225. Looking good. Here we go.
All right, guys, just a couple of quick, short sets of not too heavy at all. It's only 225 pounds, maybe four or five sets of five. Just get warmed up. Simple stuff, nothing crazy. Okay, folks, that was intense. Just a real short 20 minute, just a little tune up in my friend's house in the basement, but it works. I know it's crazy, man, the weather's terrible. The, uh, this whole thing with the virus that's going around, it's crazy too, but you know what? It can be done. Where there's a will, there's a way. And uh, you can do this, man. Uh, find some place. Listen, I'm gonna give you one last piece of advice. Here's the thing, man. Half hour, 20 minutes to a half hour of heavy lifting in the gym is gonna burn you maybe, maybe 150 to 200 calories, maybe. But that same amount of time at a brisk walk will burn over 500 calories. So really in this time when there's no gym to go to, you can actually still get ripped, man. You can still lose weight, you can still do what you wanna do just by doing push-ups, do sit-ups, things where you're using your own body weight, and walk. Use this time to get some cardio because you're gonna burn three times the amount of calories doing a walk than you will lifting. So take the next few weeks when everything is shut down and do push-ups, do sit-ups, do dips like, like in the corner of a cabinet in the kitchen. Just put your hands in there and do a bar dip, that kind of a thing, if you can pull that off. If not, then don't do that. But either way, just go for a walk. You go for a walk, you're gonna burn three times the calories anyway. By the time you get back to the gym, you will have actually lost weight and gotten more lean and more ripped. All right, I'll see you guys shortly in another video. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget, click and subscribe, and we're looking forward to seeing you again. Ciao.